it's a horrible event that's brought up our, our, our meeting. But, I mean, just give us your memories of June Brown. Well, it's a horrible ev- event, Ian, but June told me, she said, I'm ready to go. Mike. Oh, really? Um, and, I mean, when I, ju- I, when I joined EastEnders in 1986, uh, the first person I met in the door was her, and she went, oh, hello, dear, you're the gay one, dear. <laughs> I'm a gay character. Uh, and, 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 and you and, said right on both counts. And we, <laughs> she absolutely was. <laughs> and, and we not only worked together well, what was interesting for me was we became the odd couple of EastEnders, and I actually think her, Dot, and the integrity that she brought to all of her work... Her reaction, Dot's reaction to Colin and to Barry, his boyfriend, and then around AIDS and HIV, I actually think helped to change this country and take it on a journey because they dealt with issues through her, a woman they trusted, Mm. and they saw her come around to the issues. Um, She was at our civil ceremony. When Paul died four four days later, she was with me. When I was introduced, your partner. Yeah, when I was introduced in the House of Lords, and and I was remembering today a brilliant holiday we had in Rome. She went, "Oh my dear, I'll have to go to Rome, dear, see the Pope." <laughs> so we went 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 to the Vatican, and we lost her. And we went, "Where's June? Where's June?" And the only way we found her was by tracing this bloom of blue cigarette smoke <laughs> that was coming from this darkened corner. And I went, "June, what are you doing?" Pointing to the cigarette. She went, oh, "It won't be the first time there's been a fag in the Vatican." Dear. <laughs> but she, I will remember her with so much love, so much laughter, and arguably, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have formed Stonewall. I wouldn't have ended up in politics because she got me the time off on a Saturday morning, even though she was a One Nation Conservative and she knew I was a Labour. She's that terrible Labour, Mike. She's, she got me time off to go to the Section 28 march against the first anti-gay law in 100 years. And from that, the rest, as they say, was history. And the one thing she said to me as I left, got the train from uh, Boreham Wood to go t- down to uh, the embankment. She went, no, don't get arrested, do you? <laughs> she, okay. And she died at home with her wonderful family around her. And she's at peace. She believed in life after death. She knew I didn't. And she said she'd prove to me that it existed. So, June, well, I'm waiting. <laughs> 